one year when we were hunting in Colorado, there were seven of us that slept in one tent. And I mean, we were side by side packed in there. Three on either side of the tent, and one sleeping right in the middle with his feet right down with the door. That was old Moose McCarthy. And there was a cat that would come around the camp at night. You couldn't, you couldn't get close to the cat. But we'd throw scraps and everything out there. And at night when we get ready to go to bed, everything would get real quiet. And that cat would come in the tent, look around, and sleep on Moose McCarty's feet. And old Moose didn't mind because it kept his feet warm. And the cat had a place to sleep. Well, after about the third night there, Moose and his son left, and so Randall was sleeping way back in the back corner. And he's sleeping in one of these army mummy bags where when you get it all zipped up, there's nothing but the face showing. So we were all laying there sound asleep that night, and I woke up. And his cat came in the tent door and looked around, and his bed was gone. <laughs> and so he walked around there in a minute, and then he just jumped and landed right on Randall's chest. <laughs> and of course, Randall thought a bear had him or something. And he was wiggling and throwing and tossing and cussing, trying to throw that cat off. And the more he threw, or the more he moved, that cat was digging his claws in. He was, he was there for the long haul. So, anyway, Randall finally got him thrown off. But the cat never came back in ten again. So, he did a wild enough ride for that night. I think so. Okay.